Hey everybody, I'm Kyle the Comic Guy, and today we're reviewing Rat Queens Volume 2, The Far-Reaching Tentacles of Nrygoth. Now this, this will pick up right after the party that happened in Volume 1. Now, issues 6 through 8 in here were drawn by Rock Upchurch, and Stefan Sejic did issues 9 through 10, and of course Curtis J. Weeb writing the story. Once again, this is a mature book. There's nudity and language, but really fun read. The characters are, once again, flawlessly written. There's your boy Gary, if you remember him from Volume 1. And everybody's always being hilarious. We learn a little more about Violet and Dee in this book. Um, let's see. Here's, here's Betty having a little weird dream going on. <laughs> um, there are some gruesome parts in here as well, but really picks up off of the, what the last one had and develops the Rat Queens a little bit more. Probably my favorite issue out of the bunch would be this one where we get to learn more about Violet and her past and her family and see how she ended up being with the Rat Queens and developed into the character that she is. There is an immediate difference that I notice when Stefan Sejic takes over for the art, but he does have some good artwork in here at points. And in this book, we do learn a little more about D, and we also learn how Hannah and Tizzy got to know each other, but it's not expanded on as of yet. So we'll have to see what happens there. Now, if you read the first volume, you know that the main antagonist for this volume is gonna be Garrig and he is the main antagonist for the length of this volume. We do get to see more of Hannah and Sawyer's relationship develop. Once again, I believe Hannah has stolen the show in this book. My favorite character in this book being Hannah, second being Violet. Then after Violet, I would say Dee and then Betty. They all have great moments though, all of them. And I would definitely recommend this book. Artwork, I would give, for Rock Upchurch's part, I would give a 10. For Stefan Sedgwick's, i give about an 8. And then for the writing, I'm going to give Curtis a 10 out of 10. Once again, brilliant book. And there are little moments like this that make the book worth reading. Um, once you get to this part, you'll understand why. It's really, it's a fun part. So all in all, I would give this book a 9.5 out of 10. Let me know your rating of the book. And if you're reading this series, let me know where you're at in the book. Uh, I've read the first six volumes so far. Cannot wait to read more. Curtis is off the book, so we'll have to see how it does. But yes, I love this book. Leave a comment below on what book you want to see me review next. And give this video a like if you enjoyed the content today. And then in the description, I will also have a source where you can buy this book. Because I know you're dying to read it. All right, I will talk to you guys next time. Love y'all. Bye-bye.